Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about solving some more absolute value equations. And these ones are a little more complicated. Uh, there's just two that we're going to look at today. So uh, the first one looks like this, uh, 4x minus 2 equals negative 5. Now, if you understand this problem, it's actually pretty easy. But um, I think uh, we, we definitely need to discuss it. When you see this negative 5 right here, all right, uh, on that side, that is going to cause some issues for us. We, we all know that the absolute value of anything is going to be a positive number. And, and absolute value measures distance from zero. So what I mean by that, like if we put a, you know, a three inside of an absolute value symbol, that would have to equal three. And if we put a negative three inside the absolute value symbol, that would also have to equal three because absolute value measures distance from zero. So the reason I bring this question up is because if you ever see a problem that looks like this, where you have the absolute value of something, in this case, it's 4x minus 2, and it's equaling a negative number, that can't happen. All right, there's no way that that could happen. No matter what number we put in for x, we would get um, a positive number. All right, so if you see this, where you have the absolute value of something is equal to a negative number, you need to write down that the answer is no solution. All right. And that's really it with that one, all right? So I know it's, it's confusing because sometimes students just immediately go and they, they start to solve it um, and they, don't, they, they just break it into their two equations and they solve it without thinking about it um, logically. Um, so it makes sense to just think logically. Can we get a negative number if we take the absolute value? And the answer is no. So obviously it's no solution. So I want to do one that's a little more complicated now. Um, and it looks like this. Now, this I, I put this problem in just to make it kind of look similar to the last one in that we have a negative number over on the right side. So a lot of students will say, okay, Mr. Cop just told me if we have a negative number over on uh, the right side that it's no solution. Um, that only works if it's just the absolute value of something is equal to a negative number. We need to manipulate this equation first off to get it to, so it's just the absolute value of 3x plus 1 is equal to something, all right? What I mean by that is we need to do our inverse operation. So we're going to add 8 to both sides. So I'm using that addition property of equality right here to get, you know, the, the absolute value stuff alone, all right? So let's just rewrite what we'd have here. So we'd have 2 is, you know, 2 times the absolute value of 3x plus 1 is going to equal positive four. And again, I usually like to put a giant zero around this because that does equal zero right there. Uh, and you can see negative four plus eight is equal to positive four. Now you can see we don't have a negative number over there anymore. So we got to do one more thing to just check. Um, and that would be us dividing both sides by two right here, right? So we're going to divide both sides by two. So we get the absolute value of three X plus one is equal to positive two. At this point, we can now make that determining factor. Is it no solution or not? In this case, it's a positive 2, so there's going to be a solution. Uh, there's going to be two solutions for it, so we have to go ahead and solve it. So again, the first step is get that stuff, you know, the numbers that are attached to the absolute value away from them. Move it over to the other side. In this case, we use the addition property of equality, and we use the uh, division property of equality to get the absolute value of 3x plus 1 by itself. So now we can break it into our two parts. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here. I'm just going to grab a different color for this part here. Uh, so we're going to solve this as 3x plus 1 can equal 2, um, and 3x plus 1 can equal negative 2. And again, you have to do both answers because this right here, I don't care what's inside of there, inside the absolute value, in this case it's 3x plus 1, that number can equal 2 or negative 2 because we know the absolute value of 2 is 2 and the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So let's solve both these basic equations here. In this one, we would subtract 1 from both sides. We'd get 3x is 1. We would divide by 3 on both sides. And we would get this first answer is x is equal to 1 third. Let's put a little circle around that. All right. And the other one, we would do it like this. Subtract, negative, or subtract 1 from both sides. So 3x is equal to negative 3. We would divide by 3 on both sides. And we end up with our other answer, x is equal to a negative 1. And those are your two answers that would work for this problem. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, again, these are a little more complicated, uh, but if you watch this and follow along with this, take notes on this, um, I think it will help. So thanks for watching.